All right, third time's the charm. So the rooms are green and red. I took note before that sometimes the room gives you loot. And that was always the green room. The red room had enemies in it. Yep. I figured avoiding the beauty thing was the obvious choice at the beginning. So I guess I've now failed both segments. And that... I found out that if you keep chasing the beauty one, you die in the first part. Which is what I did the second time, when I was trying to figure out what to do because I died the first time. But when I died the first time, it was because I, I got to the apple segment. And then that eventually led to red rooms. So if we're trying to f fight our eating disorder, then you avoid the pursuit of beauty picture. And then in this case, you would have to eat the apple and then just leave. So I noticed that you could walk through this before, but I thought that was a glitch and I was maybe messing up the game. But I think, given that you can get through by not eating, or you can get through by eating and puking, those are both eating disorder moves to make. So maybe you going through the wall, going through the bars is actually like, that's an intentional metaphor. Yeah, because this does lead to a green room. I think that's an intended metaphorical expression of the idea. So it's, it's that that's your... She emotionally feels like she has to, she has to stop that. Like if she eats, she has to purge or she'll get fat. And so she emotionally she feels like she has to then purge. And that's why there's the bars, but you can go through them because they're not real. Okay, so I think I get it then. That's why there's a red room and a green room. Mm. So, so far it does consistently match up that the... Oop, that whenever you encounter the bait... Ah! Oop. There was a ghost. Bye. So whenever the big, uh, naked mole rat monster thing, baby nightmare, shows up, it's an unwinnable fight so far. That last time, they basically killed me in one hit. Oh. It's a torn piece of my dog's leash. Oh right, that part of the plot. I guess maybe I am still some separate person who is there for their dog genuinely, and I'm just experiencing a hell and the issues tied to a different person entirely. The, per the person who had body Im image issues found a relationship, got pregnant, and then ultimately walked in front of a train. These have like clogged artery vibes or something. I waited in the dark for so long. 
I lashed out against anyone who got close. But someone kept pushing me into the light. It hurt me for a while. It doesn't hurt anymore. That's today's date. What's happening here? My God, that's a cool visual. Still altogether unsure if there's like an interaction with those moments. That's a dead end. I gotta say, the couple of indie horrors I've played this month are, def are definitely beating out the the Silent Hill and Resident Evils that I played this month. I'm way more engaged right now. Got three shapes to put in here. An arrow. Okay, this is not the same room. Hmm. This place should be empty, but the lights are on, and I hear something crawling around. Why keep the power on? Why? I can't fathom what this place even is. I've tried to map it out, but it doesn't make sense. I don't have a new tape yet. So what's the symbolism in these rooms? They have candles, there's an angel, like a church gazebo sort of thing. And the outside of the door has two, has two people standing together. So it could be marriage? Because there's a couple and church. Can't go through either of these. It's like a mine now? A cave-in warning. And there has been a cave-in. So this passage is impassable. Despite the messages. Let's make all the chains dance. Yeah, party room. Loving this. That's what that is. That's the ladder on the map. This one says X, like, don't go here. Oh, that's gone. Puppy! Uh, I think this puppy looks like it opens. Ooh! Oh, it's still alive! Oh, that's so creepy. There's shadow? Like, moving around. God, I immediately clocked that that was not a real puppy. I'm like, that thing is... It's got seams. Something's wrong with this dog. But, uh, I was not ready for it. I was ready for it to open up. I thought it was gonna be a mouth. I was not ready for it to then slither away. Right when I looked back. Puppy. 
What an actually creepy thing. It's funny because I just I I've been this week I've I finished editing a video essay about a horror comic. And it's refreshing to have actual horror because it was not good at that. A better emblem. And a key. That thing's just looming out there now, and I gotta go back, I think? Genuinely creepy creature. There's all these side pan panels. Oh, it goes through walls. And here I was about to mention that like all these side passages help explain how this thing could get away from me too. Hit all the chains. Yeah. Keep thinking something's gonna happen on this ladder. I do not trust the ladder. Me and my homies hate ladders. Boop. That is a start. It's an old trick at this point, but I do enjoy when a game plays with your save files and screws around with you a bit there. This game feels like it's maybe a little too likely to signify... Been here before, I think. It often feels like it's maybe a little too likely to signpost when horror stuff's gonna happen with noise. Looks like a face. Almost let that door get past me. Is that one of the pieces? Oh! Did something just run away? The shadows are getting me. I thought I'd be safe down here. I'm so far away from those monsters up above, but even here, I'm not alone. Another acknowledgement of the monsters. Just covered in pieces of my dog. Not even pretending to be my dog anymore. That ruse went. That was ruse was gone fast. <laughs> He's back. Classic, like, old Castlevania-looking save. That's not gonna work for me. That's not gonna work for me at all. When I looked down and saw the get off the ladder prompt for just a moment there, I thought they were gonna tell me that I can jump off. Now it looks like I'm climbing up a ladder instead of down. <laughs> you have so little visual reference for where you are that you can just trick your brain to thinking you're climbing down now by, by spinning around like that. He's back. Stop it. 
makes that creepy little barking noises, doesn't he? Sometimes. Okay, so now I think he's coming back on a timer. I lose more resources the more I spend here. It says X, but I'm not going to trust it. You think this is a game that's on my side? It's hopefully all of them. I told everyone, but no. No one listens to me. I can't trust anyone. They're all ser they're all just serving the monsters. No one is different. It's just me now. Why wouldn't they just listen? Oh. They're all serving the monsters now. He's back. This also works. It's just the other side of this room. Not very helpful. I don't need to fight the undog, I can just run for it. Bye bye. Oh no! Oh, no. He's like a really fucked up transformer. I'm a dog on the inside. Huh? What? What? <laughs> There's just no one there just for a moment. And then they weren't there. Right when I'm in the middle of dealing with something else, too. So I'm just not ready for that surprise. What in the heck? It's back here for the main door, right? I think I have all the emblems, so... Here we go. Oh, I got there eventually. Ah. Uh... Nezumi testing. Dr. Brundle. Personal, uh, personal Archive 86. Feeling good about today? Progress continues almost at an alarming rate, given how theoretical this all should be. Today we had one of the smaller rodents continue to move for almost two hours after all its blood had been drained and replaced but with mix pa 221215 v Zombie rats. That's why there's rats everywhere. They're being experimented on. I wonder if I missed a tape. Possible. I don't trust myself to achieve things and accomplish everything correctly. New map though. We're kind of zooming through these, aren't we? Okay, so we're in the labs. What kind of horrible rat monsters are we gonna see? Hmm. Dr. Brundle. It's a very funny name to me. I'm sorry if your name is Brundle. Unless you like being a funny boy. Maybe the rats are friendly. Think about that. We did it. We created giant rats. We replaced their blood and now they're really cool. Is how it ended. I don't like that. <laughs> don't like that that happened just now. Dr. Piccinini. Dr. Piccinini. Personal Archive Order 66. My dreams have found their savior. A dark creature swabbed in dirty robes now lives within them. 
They eat the rats and silence the screaming. Soon I will begin work. Not this filthy government's rat work, but my true work. I will give birth to my savior so they can silence everything. There's, there's the actual note. <laughs> and sing the song that ends the earth. I think that note is float- yeah, that thing- this thing's floating. This- this trash. Do not have the patience to try to read those when I see them. Seems like a pain. Oh. Oh. The rats are so unnervingly flat. Number 65. Streaks and squeals are all I hear. My dreams are infested with these rats. If only they knew that they were going to make- that we were going to make them into something beautiful. If they knew that we had the capacity to, they would respect me. But no, it's nothing but screams and wailing. I can't sleep. I can hardly think. Even when I'm further away than the sound should possibly travel, I can hear them. Sounds like guilt to me. Relax! Exclamation point. I don't think that's... <laughs> good, good, good combo. I don't think the exclamation point is conductive to the relaxation. Where did I come from? I think I came from the other direction. I think this is the way forward. All these ex Oh! Oh! I do not like how they seem to have human heads on them. Seem to have human heads? Is this where the creature came from that mimics my dog? Number 88. I'm beginning to question my fellow scientists' ethics. <laughs> if we can truly call any of this science anymore. Oh, this is Dr. Brundle, not, not Pinicini. I fear that we're all stumbling into something dark, and with each breakthrough, my fear grows. I don't know how they'll react when we inevitably hit a dead end with these experiments. Oh. All head. Normal. It feels like they grew giant rat monsters, then sewed, t like, human heads onto them. Once they were large enough. Am I about to kill them with a single headshot? Okay, well those are upsetting. 87. Today I questioned the higher staff. Just on how far they think we can go with these experiments. Dr. Piccinini has uh, took hold of me and brought me into one of the off-limit rooms and showed me something I don't fully understand. Maybe he was playing an elaborate and inappropriate prank. Piccinini told me that it was his other pet project and assured me that the work we're doing is of great importance. Mm. He was pitching a fit. He was pitching needing a fit. I don't like this bathroom. I don't like the communal shitting room. Oh my god, no. Piccinini 67. I showed Sitores to Dr. Brundle today. He didn't know what to think, he just stared at it. Maybe he's just scared. Sitores is moving now, but only barely. For some reason I can't get him to function while the camera is on, or while I'm looking at him. But he changes form in between these movement moments. Oh, it was the shapeshifter, right? He only does stuff when you're not looking at him.
think you might be able to get him in one headshot. But I don't know where my reticle is exactly. I... Uh... Screaming babies. Funny pigs. You see Doris in here? 68. Piccinini. My dear savior is growing every day. I started stealing some of the rats from their tiny, safe cages and put them in the hole with Sitois. At first I wasn't sure what they would if they would do anything, but once I left and came back, the rats were gone. The only traces of the rats left was a lipstick smear of, of blood on Sitoris's jaw. So there's some kind of monster, but it only does stuff when you're not looking at it. Ah. Uh. Uh. 89. We have done it. I have to get out of here as soon as I can. There are no creations that should... These are not creations that should exist. I don't know if we screwed something up along the way, or if this was the only possible outcome. That's Brundle again. This feels like a bad idea. I... I just crushed my own head. It cracked my vision and shrunk my aspect ratio. I... Don't think I should do that again. I think I should leave. Can't use the door. I have to do it, don't I? Why would you? Why would you continue? It's so clearly a bad idea. Oh. Ah, a picklock set. My favorite. Uh, I hope this one doesn't also break like they always do. Things in that hallway seem ungood. Ah ha! They're getting feisty. Yes. Dear Dr. GLA, Research Archive 120. Subject Cass 3 was originally found in the wreckage of a collapsed farmhouse by a mountain survey team. It was later brought to government attention after most of the crew went missing and then granted to, to our lab for testing. It appears like a normal cassette tape, but has some major differences. Spectrogram displays of the audio contained do not seem to match the structure or waveform of the actual sound, but rather several images of, of American animal life and trees. Some researchers who spent significant time listening to the subject have been hospitalized for mental reasons, often becoming obsessed with a fiction, a fictional being known as Biogothoth. Hmm? Are we believing in otherworldly beings now? Lost tape three. Does exist. in my shots. This ma this this hallway goes off the map. Retinal scan failed. I got to get an eye. I got to get someone's eye. 
And they're not gonna like it. They're not gonna like that part one bit. I'm back in the pooping room. One looks different? No? Yeah, it is dented. Come and get the num nums. What the fuck? Why doesn't the shotgun work? The shotgun seems really bad in this game, which is weird because it's the shotgun. But it seems like impressively ineffective in a lot of situations. Getting turned around. I feel like I, s I saw the lock, didn't I? Where was the lock? Ah! the retina scan hallway. I gotta turn around a bit. Wasting all my ammo. Guess that was a bad idea. Okay, melee seems to work alright. I didn't know I was going to be in some serious trouble. Okay, here's the padlock. Jukes, 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 jukes. You can look, you can look away. Keep it going. Come on. You can do it. Okay, bye bye bye. Oh. Regular rats. They've been eating him. I don't know how they got the leg off though. That seems impressive. And the pant leg too. The eyes have been eaten. Oh, I ah! Hello. Oh, there's his leg. What was it jump cutting to? Some specific door, I think? Dr. Brundle Personal Archive 90. I can't get out of here. The halls are full of them. They're worshipping Piccinini's Pic Piccinini's messed up pet. They swarm around just like the rats. And I've triggered a Unity Engine debug log. <laughs> That's what it looks like. I think it's because I was standing in a range of the item and the letter at the same time, so I tried to do both. What did I pick up? What was I supposed to have picked up just now? Did it bug out? Hmm. Maybe it was an eyeball? I don't know if it pauses during that. Uh, but they can they can book it. Da -da -da -da. I'm just gonna try the retinal scan and see if I can open it now, because, yeah, I don't know. 
I'm pretty sure it I went to pick up an item and it picked up that and the... And activate the thing at the same time. Oh, it's just already open. Okay. I guess that works. Dog. Oh my god. Buffy. You can pet the dog. We found the puffy. They're okay. They're still way too big. Dr. Brundle 91. Dr. Piccinini went crazy. He attacked me in my office, screaming about sacrifice. I hit him over the head and he lost consciousness, but I I confirmed he's still alive. I'm going to try to get out of here using the flood tunnels connected to the rat fluid chamber. Ah, the fluid chamber. Can't wait to go in there. Puppy. Just gonna keep petting the dog on accident, just absentmindedly. Just, I can't help it, there's just... Ah! Are you fucking kidding me? You used to immediately take my puppy away again? I can't go down there. Why not? I won't fit. I- you will! My camera lurching? Period. He took my puppy away! I had a puppy for five seconds. This is some bullshit. Why am I so- what? Why am I so tall? I'm like, a, I'm like against the ceiling. It's so claustrophobic in here. I'm like taller than the doors. Is something happening to me? I think I'm growing. I think the sludge is affecting me and I'm a monster now. Something's up. I'm too tall. Are my weapons gone? Okay, there's a door. I thought I was just trapped in the sludge cube. Oh, now I have ammo. Like they took pity on me for how much I wasted before. I don't have a map, so this isn't the same place. Sorry, flashing lights, flashing light warning, flashing lights, flash lights are flashing. Why would a hallway be shaped like this? We hate wheelchairs specifically. Hostile architecture for wheelchairs. And only wheelchairs. Brundle 92. I'm almost out of here, but P P Piccinini's pet is in the warehouse by the emergency exit. It won't move while I'm staring at it, but when I try to look away, it seems to reappear somewhere within a, a closer radius. If someone finds this, please be careful as any creature may still be as the creature may still be around. So it moves whenever you look away. And it follows you. Closer and closer. Every time you look away. Remember Slenderman the eight pages? One of the first one of the earliest things I covered, I think. Back on the old channel. Ah. Ah, I saw him appear. It's a bit upsetting because you can't really see your surroundings, so you don't know where you're going. Uh oh. <laughs> it's a 
What? Did it come in here? Did something weird. I don't know where it is. Where did it go? Oh! Found it. unnerving. It doesn't seem to like instantly catch up with you or anything. It's a dead end, isn't it? Gone. I'm not totally sure what my objective is right now. This guy does seem somewhat less threatening than you'd expect. Okay, I found an eye. I picked up via vibes without seeing it. Oh! And the boxes have moved. Hi! Okay. I know there wasn't anything in here. Ooh, okay. He doesn't seem massively hostile. It kind of seems, feels like he's meant to just unnerve you and move around a lot. Or he just killed me. Did he just take my eye? Missing left eye. Are they implying I need to get the eye from him now? Is he luring me? The distinction of missing left eye did make me wonder if I need to go get the other eye now. It is watching me. Oh! Don't touch him. <laughs> Touching him does not work. It's getting louder. Oh, the rats are coming. Oh. Is he taking my eye? Oh, I don't think this was a... I think this is supposed to happen. kept showing the eye all along and now it's missing. The rats dove in. Makes you wonder if this is what happened to the other guy is if he he got uh like if it's as if he got his neck snapped by the monster and then immediately uh 
he was left alive on the ground, like not dead, but like paralyzed. And then the rats were feasting on him while he was, while he couldn't move. Okay. I love the missing left eye. I think I did just lose. Yeah. I think that was a normal... I think that was a normal loss. This just has a really messed up animation. So don't walk into him. <laughs> I was wondering because he had an eye and I'm like, I have the missing left eye. Do I have to get the other eye too? Do I have to get both eyes? And uh, I don't think that was the goal, no. <laughs> Alright, so... I get back to work. I'd take a little quick break. So we have one eye and we're missing the other one. I need to figure out where the other one is stashed and I did not touch him because he's gonna get me. I, and I'm getting turned around because they're making me teleport around. This is the meat where we found the first eye. At him, teleported. Where'd you go, buddy? The other one could be in here. Might be there. There he is. He stays within a certain range, he can teleport in front of you. And if he gets you, you watch the longest death animation ever made by mankind. Okay, so you go in there, you leave, you trigger a cutscene. And it might just be making the point that you've- because that's his left eye, right? So it might be just be that the point is just that you got his left- the left eye. And now his left eye is back too. He can be rough because he can definitely teleport like right in front of you. I don't want to go too fast. Okay. Man, I made it to the end when he got me. <laughs> that sucks. Bl blinking lights is bad because he could still be here. And if the lights go out, then it's easier to lose him. Because then you have to really keep an eye on him with your flashlight. And he really, he really got me in the last possible spot. <laughs> Hello? What? I don't trust this. Greedy art by Soteris. What's the name of the monster? I don't think the game's over. 
<laughs> Motion capture by Boring Keith. They're fucking with me. Blood. Uh oh. Wait. Are these people on my friends list? The time is late. Savior of rats. Sotiris. Uh oh. The need for eyes. Oh. It is unquenchable hunger. Am I puking? I think I'm puking monsters out. Or bugs. It's not good. <laughs> that was pretty good. I wonder how many people believe the credit sequence is real when it starts. Because what I'm thinking about is the fact that, like, one, this whole thing with the rats is not super attached to, like, the body image stuff or the dog stuff. It's completely a new thing. Maybe not entirely, but, like, it's a separate feeling thing. We have not resolved... Like, I don't know if the body image stuff gets resolved because it might be the problems that a, a dead person had. But, like, we're here for the dog. The dog got swept into a drain. So I'm like, what do you mean we're going up a, an elevator and leaving and now the credits are playing? Like, admittedly, if things were this bad, I probably would leave. And, like, I'm sorry. But <laughs> I can't go... Sing this, I, I will not be single-handedly searching through this place. I mean, I'd be reporting what I found here and something ho will hopefully get investigated about how fucked up things are in here. But I can't do this myself. I would try to leave if I got the chance. So, like, that would be credits for me if it was a chance to escape. But in the game, I'm thinking, like, yeah, we're here for the dog, right? And we never explicitly gave up on the dog. So it was just weird that the credits started playing. And then as they kept going, they got became more and more of a parody. They started actively fucking with me. I see you, game. You're sneaky. But I was also just staring in disbelief at the idea that I just took a break for lunch and uh, came back for 30 seconds of gameplay where literally one one corner away from where I died last time was the end of the game. I'm like, I don't accept that. Alright, shotgun ammo. So it would appear that we are not done yet. Lost tape three. Cool light. Weird window. Matches. Is that this? Is that the medic from Team Fortress? Uh. Ah, there's eyes up there. Normal. Hello, eyes. This game really is beautiful sometimes. Okay, didn't that... did that move? No, I don't think so. I mean, it's literally moving right now, but... Doth it change its location? I have matches, but I can't use them on this lantern. Hmm. 
no food left. This is where we keep the twins. That's creepy. Have to pray to it, gives us flesh. Ah. Yeah, I'll pick up the flesh mask. I'm just having a normal one today. Everything's gonna be fine. I need firewood. Which means I need to go out. Into the rut. Not only is something out there, it looks taller than the trees. Oh, the eyes I saw. Took our son. Oh, there's a car. This tree is moving without any wind. Are you sure there's no wind right now? Anyway, I got the fire right. I'm gonna go back inside now. Bye bye bye. Uh, ah, toasty. Toasty! I think things might be un-okay. Let's check out the creepy window that had the eyes. I bet they're closer now. That'll be a fun reveal. <laughs> Hi. Um... Do I put the idol here? I can't look at my inventory, but I, I did pick up an idol. Burn idol. Uh... In base four, I'm fine.